Hi guys, it's Jessica here for a long overdue Dolly Updates video. Um, I've sat down a few times to make a video over the last few weeks and I just feel so overwhelmed. Like there's just so much stuff that I want to cover um, and I don't have an organization in my brain on how to present it. So I decided, you know, I'm just going to sit down, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> and um, share things and talk until I get tired <laughs> and then it will be to, to be continued. <laughs> so <clears throat> that's basically what this is going to be. I've got um, lots of sewing uh, projects uh, for dolls that I've uh, been working on and there have been quite a few um, new dolls too. Um, I still haven't gotten them all presented. <laughs> um, the ones that have come in this last six or eight months. Uh, I just kind of fell behind on social media, which is okay. Um, but I did feel like sharing this morning, so I'm gonna go ahead um, and start with this gorgeous girl. This is my Mary Doll Round Zuri, and she is in the chocolate resin. Not chocolate milk, chocolate. Um, and she I got her, um, I'll tell the story, I guess. So, uh, Winnie B BJD, um, she uh, posted this girl quite a while on ago uh, on her Instagram. I can't remember if she had a video with her or not, um, but I know she posted some photos of her um, on her Instagram, and I just... Uh, the way she was styled, her face up, you know, everything about her I just loved so much. And, um, like, she became my dream Zuri, and it was just, you know, a dream. Uh, um, I, I didn't ever imagine that Winnie BJD would want to sell her, but she did. <laughs> um, and it was kind of during a not great moment in time. Um, but uh, as far as Dolly monies went, uh, but but uh, Winnie, she um, she was very kind, very gracious, and she gave me a, a long layaway to pay her off, um, and and I finally got to got to bring my dream Zuri home. Um, and for you, for those of you who have been following me for a while, know that I did have another Zuri, um, and she was in was she in she was probably in chocolate milk um, because this is my adorable little Mary Doll Round mousse and she is in the chocolate milk resin and um, and I think the one that I had I'm pretty sure she was in the chocolate milk but she was in this little bit lighter um, this, she's much darker, really, um, when you compare them together. And I don't think I realized uh, the difference. Um, but anyways, I, I had that Zuri um, and uh, a, um, a tan elf ingenuise came up on the marketplace. And I, I believe that there were only 25 of those ever made. Um, and I wanted to... I didn't want to miss her. Like she was kind of a grail type of doll. Um, so um, my Zuri was probably the most uh, like sellable doll that I knew I would get the her return price, and I would uh, I wouldn't have to sell her for like two hundred dollars less or whatever to get her sold. Like she's a um, a very popular um, artist artist doll, you know. So she's She's current, I guess is what I would say. She's current. A lot of people um, uh, have her in their, uh, that they would want her basically. Um, and it worked out really good because um, Danielle Vita Plastica actually bought her. Um, and I love what she's done with that doll. Like she did, uh, I, I just could not, I don't know. I just, whatever I tried to do with that doll, just, she just never, she never worked, um, which, which was sad because she was so beautiful. Um, but it was, it was okay. Uh, I, I got the ingenuities and I always had it in my mind that, you know, I, I would definitely bring home a Zuri again at some point. So this girl came up um, and 
the thing, so this was the funny part was that in the back of my mind, I was like, I really wish that I could have gotten um, the the darker, one of the darker Zuri's. Um, and in, in my mind, I don't know if it was from the photos or if I had just gotten confused about the color names, I thought she was going to be in this chocolate milk color. Um, so when I opened her uh, and saw that she was actually the darker resin, um, which I learned is called chocolate, um, I, because <laughs> I'd always, I know that was the one thing in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, you know, if only, if only I could have gotten the one that it was a little darker, but this is okay, I really like her. So the fact that she was so beautiful and then she was actually in the darker resin color, it, I, I was over the moon and just so happy with this girl. Um, and immediately had to start uh, sewing things for her. Um, and uh, this is actually, um, this pair of shorts that I made her is actually the second version. Um, I made another pair uh, that didn't fit quite as well. Um, and let's see if I can grab them. I'll show you those and then I'll show you the ones that she's wearing. This is my Supia doll, uh, Muriel, and she's on a Fipal 60 Moe body. And she's wearing clothes that I made her. Um, jacket, shorts, shirt, and she's wearing a, a sugary cuppy cake uh, wig, alpaca wig, that just came in too. And that's another thing I mean to do. I want to do a wig video and highlight all of the great artist wigs that I um, have been getting in but so these were the shorts and uh, they they do fit good um, but there was just a few th things about them that I just wasn't quite happy with so um, I made some changes to my pattern and uh, and then made um, a second pair but fortunately um, they do fit the uh, the clothes that I have been making <clears throat> for uh, Zuri they do fit the people 60s pretty good too for so far the things the things that i've made um cross over pretty good so i made the second pair um and they are the waistband is lined and there's real pockets real pockets real pockets in the back um but i really i really like how uh um, I was really trying to get this to be lower, to be lower on the waist and kind of come up on the, and be almost a little high waisted in the back. Um, and that's because it, it helps with when they sit, you know, there's not all this butt crack coming out. <laughs> so I'm really happy with how those turned out. And I look at her butt. I love it. She's so beautiful. Um, so I, I, I didn't make these tights actually, or these stockings. Um, these stockings were made by um, Squishadelia or um, Darling Clover on Etsy. She's Squishadelia on um, Instagram and, and I think Flickr, uh, but her Etsy shop is uh, Darling Clover. Um, and these were made for, these were actually made for Smart Doll. Um, and I bought them I, I knew somebody in my crew would be able to wear them. Um, so they fit the people 60 Moe bodies and they fit my Zuri. She's wearing a pair of Code Noir heels and uh, she has uh, slightly heeled feet. Um, and I, I love that about her. I remember that about my other Zuri. Um, and I don't know if there's an option to have non-heeled or healed, um, or if that's just the, the feet that she comes with, but she can stand on these fine, uh, even, you know, not wearing any shoes, um, she can stand on them just fine, uh, which is, which is pretty amazing that they're healed feet and then she can stand on them without wearing shoes. Um, but, uh, I, I just love this girl. I, I <laughs> Every time I look at her, I'm just she just makes me so happy. Um, uh, uh, Winnie had styled her in a teal um, 
Hazel's Aesthetics Mohair Wig. Um, let's see. Oh, no, I thought it was sitting over there, but it's not. Um, I have a few of them, and I love it. I, that teal color is so vibrant. Uh, and she actually sent that wig with her. Um, but I got this. Uh, this is... Um, I think she calls it Octarine. Um, this is the Octarine, uh, another wig made by Hazel's Aesthetics. And so I tried it out on her and I love it. I love it. So it's got, you know, the, the vibrant, amazing teal and then the lavender, like what could be better? All my favorite things. Um, and I really, really like, uh, I tried some straight wigs on her and stuff and, she, and she's pretty. They look good on her, but I really, really like her in um, the, the really curly, uh, poofy mohair. I think it just suits her so good. Um, and this, um, I've got this a, a while ago. I've had it for a while. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it's a headphones and they, they, they make, uh, they make them for people, um, uh, with speakers and they light up and stuff. This one doesn't light up, but it's very big. Um, and even on my biggest headed dolls that are like nine centimeter doll heads, it's, uh, it's a little big, but I clipped it on with some little clips and it's, it's actually staying on pretty good. So fingers crossed, <laughs> but she got that too. So, um, at this point I'm just enjoying her. I'm enjoying making clothes for her, uh, playing with her. I don't know. I don't really have much of like an idea for a character or a name at this point. Um, and I, I'm not pushing those things, uh, as far as, uh, um, let's, it's not super important that I put those things on her. Some dolls I receive, like I immediately know, uh, what their character is and where they're going to go in the story. Um, but uh, if they don't, that's okay too. You know, um, I have plenty of dolls at this point that I have because I love them and they're beautiful. <laughs> and that's reason enough too. So isn't she beautiful? Oh my gosh. She is wearing um, Tales from the Shrike eyes that just suit her perfectly. And um, uh, Winnie sent me these two. She had, I think she, I don't know if she had them custom made or if they were a pair that uh, they had had in stock, but they just suit her absolutely perfectly. I think they might be 12 millimeter eyes. I'm not sure. Um, but I, I have lots of dolls at this point that wear Tales from the Shrike um, resin eyes and they are a very excellent eye maker. Um, I don't know how much custom stuff they do, they, I, I have done a few custom orders through them and always just love them all. Um, but yeah, and pretty good prices, you know. I think uh, the last time, the last pair I got, I think they're right around the $20 range, um, which is which is pretty good. Like Mako Eyes at this point, Mako Eyes for years were $25 um, and they recently increased them to 30 or 35. Um, something like that, you know, which is, which is fair. They're very high quality eyes. Um, but yeah, uh, Tales from the Shrike makes, makes beautiful eyes. Lola's right there snoring. So, and Olive's over there and Toby's under there. So if you hear snoring all around, <laughs> that's why. So love this girl. Love, 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 love her. Her, um, her face up is by, uh, Lunar BJD. Um, I don't think she's in the hobby anymore. Uh, I have a few dolls with face-ups that she did and she was a beautiful face-up artist. She did really excellent work. Um, there was lots of problems with wait times and that sort of thing. I had one doll that she had for like 10 months, <laughs> which was a little bit, uh, that was a little bit much, um, but never disappointed in, uh, the, the, um, the, the result, basically. The, the face-ups are all very, very gorgeous. So, but there's my girl. Oh my gosh, I am I'm just, oh. Um, Mary Doll Round, um, she, uh, she posted some, some photos of her new pygmy, um, whose name is uh, Bunyal. And she, her face sculpt is very adorable. Um, 
but she also changed the body. The body is a little shorter and stockier and just so, so, so cute. Um, and uh, I probably won't be able to do it, unfortunately, um, because of uh, the season and, and that sort of thing, Christmas and taxes and all those fun things. Um, but maybe at some point I'll be able to pick one up secondhand um, because she, she is going to release Bunyal in um, the chocolate resin. So someday uh, I would really like to have uh, have that girl. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I have two pygmies right now. Um, and I did the video about how we're going to be traveling at the end of um, end of January, first of February, uh, and um, I'm going to take my two pygmies with me. I probably won't take any other dolls or any other bigger dolls but just the, the little pygmies um i can't remember if this wig had come in it come in it is a super super gorgeous moderately vivid wig and oh my gosh i would love to have another wig with these colors for one of my bigger girls it's so gorgeous and it goes so well with her beautiful beautiful resin color I have made so many outfits for this little pygmy. <laughs> I like my dango a lot too, but um, this resin is so beautiful and the, her face, oh, she has a Tilla Tilly face up. She's so, so cute. I just love her. Love her. Oh, and I have to show you her amazing shoes. Oh my goodness. Look at these shoes. I'll try to get off the... I might have to put... So these are a pair of shoes um, that I had, I've been looking at for several years. Um, and they are Blythe A-Zone shoes and um, literally been looking at them for a few years. They're on, they've been on Etsy. Let's see, there we go. Uh, and they come in a bunch of different colors, but I found them on AliExpress. I think that they were a little cheaper on AliExpress. Not not a ton they were still rather spendy um but i was like i've been looking at these shoes for several years now i am freaking getting them because they are going to just look amazing on her and they are so cool look at the heel look at the shape of the heel oh i would love a pair like these for my bigger girls for my twiglings if they made these in the bigger size for twiggling girls oh love them they are so cool so let's see who should i bring up here first um isn't she gorgeous oh my gosh i love her love 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 obsessed i'm totally obsessed muriel i'll go ahead and put her back up here her beautiful wig i wish i had a black light um because uh let me show you her card um Sugary Cuppy Cakes Boutique. I have such a hard time with that. Um, that you can contact her on, she has her Facebook here, uh, but she's also on Instagram and that's where I usually talk with her. Um, so she, she makes alpaca wigs and uh, dyes them and everything. So this, this dye, I can't remember what they call it, but if you put a black light on it, it's like iridescent and will like glow and stuff. Um, so I need to get one so I can try it out because it's really beautiful. Okay. I think, um, I can't remember which one of these girls came in first. Um, but I think I'll start with this one. So this is the, uh, the lilac. I think that's what it says on her COA. Um, maybe it's lavender white or lilac white. Uh, it's, it is, so this is a menangenu, um, an artifacts kindred menangenu uh, made by Twiggling. And um, she needs to be restrung. She's very, very loose. <laughs> um, I've sewn several outfits for her. I, I've had her for a while now. Um, I've sewn several outfits and this is the one that I just finished last night. Um, 
and uh, I've had her in several different wigs and I finally feel like like this is a little bit of a style for her. Um, she, I was a little disappointed that she wasn't more more of a vibrant purple or lavender. Um, it's it's very very subtle um, and just olives like leaving. I don't know if she needs help. <laughs> Do you need help going downstairs, little old lady? She's thinking about it. You might have to take a break to take her out. Um, so, um, yeah, I really I really wish that she was a little more like a vibrant purple. Um, but uh, uh, when you when you put her next to like a white skin or normal skin doll, it's a little more obvious that that she's purple. Um, but it can be hard. It can be hard to see on her own. Um, so what I do plan to do or want to do eventually is um, is blusher and just really, really go over the top with the blushing <laughs> and just really bring out the purple. Um, so her face up, I'm not, I'm not sure who did her face up. Um, it, I bought her from a girl in, or a woman in Denmark. Um, and I, and I, I know the face up artist was somebody in Europe too. She is wearing a pair of Doll Bakery eyes. They're 10 millimeter small iris, and those are my most favorite eyes for uh, my Menangenu girls. They just fit perfect. Um, she's wearing one of these gorgeous teal um, Hazel's aesthetic wigs. Um, they're mohair, mohair, and they're on the hide. Um, they look like this is a, an octarine. This is beautiful octarine. And um, I want to size this down um, a little bit so that it fits her uh, because it looks really amazing on her. But so that's what the hide looks like um, because it is, it's not like a wefted wig. Um, and sometimes people, they, they buy these expecting it to be like a wefted wig and it, it's not. It's, it's hair that's still on the hide. <laughs> so, um, uh, that's this is this is a fur wig <laughs> that really is the uh what that is um but i want to resize that one to fit her uh, i have several dolls with the the teal wig um because it's one of my favorites it's so beautiful and i think it fits her i said i'm not sure about the um the face up I, it, i'm not the hugest fan of it um i'd like to get her something different eventually that brings out more of her um, her lilac and lavender color. Um, but yeah, so she got a pair of, uh, um, the shorts. I, uh, re resized my pattern, um, from Missouri to fit Menangenu. Let's see, how did I do with, it's a little bit of gapping when she sits. She needs a belt. I haven't made her a belt yet. Um, but, uh, She's not wearing a belt, so I'll be able to. So she's got. That's what the inside looks like. So I'm having a lot of fun making these shorts. And her little top. This is this is the same fabric. <laughs> I have made several shirts out of this fabric. Um, this was a gorgeous fabric that was given to me by, um, uh, she was Persephone Dolls and she's changed her name to Ophelia Dolls. And she's probably been, I think she's been Ophelia Dolls for quite a while now. Um, but uh, I, I, need to, I need to do, I almost like need to do a video. <laughs> the dolls that I have bought from Ophelia Dolls. <laughs> Um, and I have another really, really special one on layaway um, from her, and I'm going to do everything I can to try to get that doll paid off sooner um, because uh, I want to keep it a surprise maybe, and I won't talk about it yet, but very, very excited about that doll. <clears throat> but yes, anyways, this is the, this was the new, I did the twiggling update and I hinted that I had another Menangenu on the way. Um, so this is her. Um, the only, the other one, um, I have a mini Pieta um, that I 
don't think, <laughs> I doubt we'll be here before the end of the year. I mean, we're almost to December. <clears throat> I'm sure my doll she's, um, my twigglings, uh, I have three doll she's and three twigglings at this point that I'm sure are, are I'm not going to see. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to see them this year. Um, I, I, I will be, I will be on the floor shocked if that happens. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, the other the other doll that I um, that I have is my uh, my uh, it's called Picot Blue is the color um, in Ingenue, and she is with Miss Mantis um, and she's had her dye job um, and then uh, she's going to do some body painting on her um, and uh, it's a no rush type of thing. It's not like I don't have enough dolls to play with, <laughs> so I am just grateful that she's customizing that doll for me. Oh, I need to, I need to, um, restring this girl. She is so loose. Like, her legs are just, look at that. <laughs> I really need to tighten her. Um, I do love that she has, I hope I can still use this resin, or excuse me, this string. It's this dark, I don't know if you can see it, this dark purple string. I love it. So, um, so this girl, she's wearing some sparkly blue pumps. Yeah. There can never be too many menanginous, I don't think. Um, so, uh, what, another girl that came in, um, very, almost the same time, um, and I, like I said, I can't remember who actually arrived first, but this is another purple, purple girl, and this is, uh, I think that she's called Lilas Purple. So I think that there is a darker purple, but this is the lighter one. It's more of a lavender. And she is, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the Chibi Moons. This is my third Chibi Moon. I have, um, uh, they're, they're hybrided on centaur bodies. I have the tan and the mint. I guess you can't see them, they're up there. Um, they're on the the uh, real fee center body centaur bodies and i do have um a centaur body that on layaway <laughs> uh that will be coming in for her and we'll see i might not put her on it right away because i'm really enjoying um i made her this outfit um and let me grab because i actually made a matching outfit I'd actually, I'd actually made this matching outfit for, um, uh, for my Minangenu. They came in about the same time and they were both purple. Um, and, uh, I made them these matching outfits. Uh, but you can, you can definitely see that she's not as purple as, as the Chibi Moon. So, but, uh, yeah, she's had several outfits made for her already. Um. <clears throat> that's my primary way of like playing and bonding with my dolls is is making clothes and outfits for them um and uh yeah you can tell the dolls that I like the best because they have lots and lots of outfits <laughs> um so I'm not sure if I like how this corset came out um I might redo might put some lace in the front and then redo the embroidery um I don't know uh, I love this fabric and I use the last bit of it that I have this very iridescent type of lavender purple you okay Olive? yeah but uh, <clears throat> her wig <clears throat> so uh, I made her wig she is uh, this is a um, Tibetan lamb's wool um, and I'm not sure, they call it mohair. I don't know if that's a, if a Tibetan lamb, is that a, I mean, that sounds to me like a sheep. Um, and then mohair comes from a goat. So I don't think they're the same. Um, and I, and I, and I'm pretty sure the wigs that has Hazel's aesthetics use, uh, that this is mohair <clears throat> from, uh, a goat, Zangora. I'm not, I'm not sure. I get confused. Um, but that's a goat and this is this is a sheep um so i um 
Uh, I follow, uh, subscribe to um, a just and sober earnest, and um, she she uh, has made a lot of wigs out of um, fur that's on the hide. Um, she's done the Tibetan lamb's wool and mohair, and and I believe that she has made some wigs out of alpaca on the hide, and I'd like to try that too. Um, but this, uh, I didn't dye this. This came already colored um, and uh, like a little square of it. <clears throat> and um, I actually made this for another doll, but it ended up being too small for her, but it fit my purple girl perfectly. And I just love how it brings out her beautiful blushing love her so she uh she has the company blushing um company meaning uh um rochelle bartell i think is her name she's lily cat of cerise stalls and she's pretty much she's a one woman job i don't think she has any helpers she did have a few she had two women that she employed that helped her with things but at this point she's on her own completely so um, any of the face-ups uh, that are coming on these dolls uh, she would have done herself so um, and I remember seeing the photos on the website and I really liked the the mint girls um, face up a lot better and I didn't like this I didn't like it I don't know it just didn't wasn't appealing to me um, but when I see her in real life, I like her just as much, if not more, than the Mint Girls um, face-up. It is just really beautiful and so tiny and delicate. Really beautiful. Let me grab my Mint Girl. She has these beautiful, delicate little freckles. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see that. She's on the little centaur body. Which I love, 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 love. Cutest centaur in the world. <laughs> I could ne I can never choose like to only collect SDs or only collect tinies like there's there's great things about about all the sizes um, the tinier dolls are more challenging to sew for um, but they're so portable and playable uh, my SD dolls are just gorgeous they're just some of the most gorgeous sculpts um, they're really fun to sew for because of their size you can really put in a lot of details um, though I, d I did uh, I put some tiny beads in this and some embroidery um, she's got her little bloomers that have some pin tucks in them um, and uh, you can do even more details when you go up a size um, but uh, yeah. love her we're, we're 33 minutes in not as bad as I expected. <laughs> um, let's see, what do I want to talk about next? Um, <laughs> maybe I'll show some more. Uh, I made um, some more of those shorts. Uh, I, I, um, I did the pattern for, I did, oh, I did, oh, I totally forgot that I, I did do another pair for Minangenu. Yeah, so this is my, um, this is the Menangenu I got from Danielle Vita Plastica. She had dyed her this gorgeous, oh, it's so beautiful. Love it, love it. I, I think I like it, I don't know, I haven't seen it in person, you know, the dark resin ones that they've made, but this is so beautiful. Um, it just has so much life to it. Um, but I made her a pair of these shorts. Um, and I really like um, 
the look uh, the co these colors with her um, uh, with her dyed resin and the belt helps a little bit with the gapping there but, but <laughs> real real pockets real working pockets um, Oh, I still, <laughs> I still haven't put snap, snaps in this blouse. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. <laughs> I do remember taking the, um, I, I went and reached and grabbed this girl earlier and stabbed myself in the palm with the needle that I put in the back here. So I took the needle out and I was like, I'm gonna put some snaps on this today and then it never happened. So, but at least there's not a needle there to poke me anymore. <laughs> She's wearing, um, this is a Purple Heart BJD wig, uh, and I have a few of her wigs. They are lovely, lovely, lovely. Can you sit here? No. Um... So I made a pair of those shorts for beautiful Herla. She is um, twiggling ingenue and she is on the short legs, short hip body. Um, the, the blouse I had made previously, but it goes really well with these shorts that I made her. And I need to make her a belt, because I'd like a belt to go with this. Um, but I, I like the vintage sort of look to it. Um, they remind me of shorts that girls might have worn um, in the 60s. These kind of high-waisted shorts. Um, working pockets, uh, playing with my embroidery settings on my machine. Oh, working pockets. So, um, she has a new wig, and I don't think that I, my last video, um, I don't think I had this yet. I can't remember. Um, so she has a new, uh, Amadez, Amadez, Amadez Studio wig. Um, this is an Angora one, and uh, she had previously a alpaca wig that was much darker. Um, and I'll I'll show you. I gave that wig to. Let me see if I can grab him without knocking a bunch of things over. Ooh, these SDs are heavy. I gave it to. Um, this is Herne, uh, who is um, Herla's older brother, and uh, he is a twiggling Eloy on a timeless body, fifth motif timeless body. Um, he's not wearing anything new except for his t-shirt. I made him a t-shirt to go with his outfit so that he wasn't bare-chested, even though that was nice. <laughs> I love the timeless body. Um, so he got, uh, he's been wearing a white wig for a long time, which I do really like on him too, but I really like him in this darker, this gorgeous Amadez Studio wig. Oh my gosh. Um, if I could have a moderately vivid and Amadez Studio as my personal wig makers, I would be very, very happy <laughs> because they have made me some very gorgeous wigs. Uh, but yes, I'm super in love with this wig. Uh, look at that. Ugh. I, I, um, the straight, I don't know, it just didn't work for me for her to have the straight hair. Uh, I, it wasn't what I wanted for her. Um, I like her, uh, in this Angora wig. And I think it was because I got that An Angora Amadeus studio wig for small Herla. Um, and I was like, okay. <laughs> Um, I need to, I need to get her something different. Um, she's wearing these, uh, 
um, doll heart pumps. But I just love her short, oh, look at those gymnast legs and that butt. Ugh, I love this. I love the, uh, um, the smaller body. Uh, um, yeah. I love her. Her face up uh, is by Sugar Glow Lights. Um, I'm pretty sure. And I would love to get some more dolls painted by her. So, um, <laughs> you should never make rules for yourself. I was just watching, um, uh, oh, what, oh gosh, it just went out of my brain. Um, I love watching her, her Dolly Updates video. She's very into mini fees. Um, oh, it just went on my brain. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, um, I was just watching her video last night, uh, and she had her, her Lucy win, um, that she had just done a face up on. Come on computer, I'm trying to look it up. Um, <clears throat> gonna bother me until I do. Sorry guys, I'll try to cut this part out. DX Girly. Um, DX Girly likes BJDs. Um, and I'm not sure if her Instagram is DX Girly BJD or something similar to that. But anyway, she was saying, don't make rules for yourself because they're meant to be broken, um, which is something I have definitely learned by, what, four and a half years in the hobby now. Any rules I make, oh my God. But this is my current rule <laughs> is that um, doll buying freeze, okay? okay, <laughs> that I'm going to pay off uh, my current layaways uh, and that there aren't going to be any more. Uh, that next year is going to be working on the dolls that I have, um, face-ups, there's a lot of dolls that need face-ups, um, and spend more time working on them. I don't feel like any of my dolls are impoverished. <laughs> uh, they have multiple outfits and that, but uh, the face-ups are not so much. Um, either I'll be doing them myself or I'll be sending them out. Um, but this is, I'm really going to try to do it, guys. I'm really going to try. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, and I, and I, it, I, I shouldn't declare these things because people, I thought you were on a buying freeze, <laughs> but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Um, but now I got, I got derailed. I forgot where I was going with that. Um, but yes, <laughs> uh, uh, no more, no more dolls going to be getting face ups. Oh yes. Uh, so I, I want, I want to get, uh, some face ups from sugar glow lights. Um, and, uh, I have in mind that I would love to send my, um, my tan Pieta. She's version two Pieta, um, to get some sort of like, uh, really sparkly kind of face up like um, like her like she did for Herla. Um, she uses some like iridescent paints and stuff uh, and um, so yeah probably more more pastel -y. Um we'll see um, my my typical purples and blues and <laughs> all those things that I like uh, but yes I have I have a lot of dolls that need face ups um, and there's a lot of face up artists that I would love to have their work. Um, I want to send some dolls to Angsty Penguin. Um, I would love to send uh, Big Gehern, my Gr Granado Dark Lord Enoch. Um, she did small Gehern, so I would love for her to do Big Gehern. Um, I want to send my Deer Heads to um, Grievous Girl. Um, and some other, there's, some, there's several other heads that I'd like to send her um, to work on too. I really love her face-up style. Um, uh, I would like I would like to send some dolls to Angel Toast. Uh, I have several dolls with Angel Toast face-ups that I really really love. Um, 
who was it that came with a beautiful, oh, uh, Verve, um, uh, my um, Twiggly Nikaroo, she came, she has an angel toast face up and it's just so gorgeous. So yeah, that's, that's something I would really, really like to start pushing for in 2019 is um, doing, doing some painting and blushing and stuff like that myself, um, but getting some, getting some artists to work on my dolls too. So we'll see you guys. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. That's why I have to spend all my time sewing clothes because <laughs> I spent all my money <laughs> buying the dolls. <laughs> Let's see. Can I set you here without knocking you over? Um, this girl over here. Do you want to hold her? Um, one more pair of shorts that I sewed. <laughs> and uh, so I made an outfit for... So I made this outfit and it was supposed... It's supposed to be for another doll. Okay. Um, I paid off my uh, Twiggling Oryx. Um... I just paid that off this week. Uh, the seller is very, she just had major surgery, it sounds like. Um, so like if that takes her a couple weeks to get that out, okay. <laughs> like she was gracious enough to give me a long layaway. So like she needs a few days, that's totally fine. Um, but anyways, I made this outfit for her and yeah, that, ne that never works. That never ever works because another doll is going to steal it. Like that, I, I can't sew things for dolls that aren't here because there's too many dolls here that will steal it. <laughs> uh, so this is Sonara. She is uh, um, a twiggly Nikaru and she's in vivid resin. And she is on the short hip, short leg uh, body, the same as Herla, except she's got the big bust, uh, probably the biggest bust, um, the, like the the D, the double D, whatever it is, they're, they're beautiful. Uh, I love the way she sculpts the boobs. Um, but, uh, I made her this outfit. So, um, I actually like it, I think, without, uh, without the corset on because the corset covers a lot of the details of the pants. Um, the shorts that I made her, um, covers the, the waistband and, um, you know, all of those details. <clears throat> Uh, and then I made her this blouse, um, and the blouse was, I wanted to display to best, um, to best advantage this gorgeous, uh, embroidered lace. It's like feathers. And, uh, my goal was I wanted to make, you know, some sort of thing that looked kind of looked like that was flowy and like wings type of situation. So um, I made her this uh, peasant blouse. Uh, it's, this is a um, pink fabric that's um, sheer um, and transparent. And then there's a blue fabric underneath. So there's this blue under fabric and then there's a pink fabric over it that makes it this darker purple. Um, and then brings out the beautiful blues and hues in these sleeves. So I, 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 I like it. Um, I'd like to experiment with it some more. Um, yeah, the, the modesty panel on this uh, corset doesn't really go with the outfit so great. <laughs> um, I, I think what I would like to do is uh, start making these with s snaps so they're interchangeable. The modesty panels can be changed out with different colors so that they match whatever they're wearing a little better. Um, so another uh, Hazel's aesthetic, Aesthetics uh, mohair mo wig in teal. I have, I love the teal so much. T teal is everything. I love teal. Um, Tales from the Shrike urethane eyes. Um, the face up was done by the seller, uh, who was a lovely guy in Spain, um, who was very, very sweet. Um, and, uh, he did, he did some body blushing on her too. She's, she's very beautiful. Um, so I really do like the face up and I love, you know, I love the little mole here. Um, not long after I first got her, she fell, um, and she kind of scratched her face up here, which I'm just like, mm. um, I don't think it's terribly noticeable. I can hide it a lot of times in photos, but I really like, I really like the face up that he did and I don't have any desire to, to change it. So. Um, 
Maybe I'll take the corset off so that you can kind of see the blouse a little more and the, the pants. How far are we? 49 minutes, guys. Oh my goodness. I, I have so many things I want to talk to you guys and show you. So, and this is going pretty good. So maybe I'll just keep going and maybe split these up. Um, I don't know, maybe split them up into half hour videos and put one out every week or something. That would be easier to upload too. Um, Cause I have to upload from my phone now and it's a pain in the patootie. Um, so that this was the corset that I had made for her. So very big boobs. Um, and so that's the lining. Making, uh, most of my dolls have smaller, have smaller bust. Um, and, and that comes from me having big boobs and struggling with clothes all the time. <laughs> like struggling to find clothes that fit properly, um, with having big bosoms. And so that translated to my dolls that I never wanted any of them to have big boobs. Um, and now I have several girls now that have pretty big bust and I find that I really like it, that it's fun to sew for and uh, fun to dress. Um, I don't care if they're uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't care if it hurts their backs. I don't care if the, this corset is restraining. <laughs> See, then they don't care either. So that's the great thing. Um, I wouldn't want to wear this all day, um, but my dolls can and they look great. Uh, so I have learned to love the, the big bust. Um, and uh, my, my twiggling ingenue that's supposed to be the Argeria, the resin, the, the whole resin issue is such a disaster, but she's, those dolls have been sent now uh, to a resin, to a Russian caster, and uh, it's not going to be the same resin, um, but she's going to be like a lavender purple color, and I'm really excited about that. But anyways, she is on this body. She's going to be on the um, short, short waist, short legs, big boobs and I'm so excited about that because um, I think her little I, I think her Liz ha has big boobs I think she does <laughs> um, I think it's one of those things that I didn't want because I didn't want to deal with it um, with the big boob thing but she needs big boobs she's supposed to have big boobs <laughs> uh, but there you can see the pants um, I I love this color like this is a linen type dark purple fabric and I love how it looks with um, with top stitching done in this teal let's see can you see that there yeah love 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 that color but the, yeah this is her top um, and uh, so th this is two layers And I really, this got thicker than I wanted it to because I did like a, I don't know why I did that. I did a, I did a French seam, but then it didn't make any sense because then you can see this part of the seam. So yeah, <laughs> next, next time, next time, um, I'll plan that out a little better. Um, but overall I like the effect. Um, I like this girl. She's wearing Code Noir boots. Pretty girl. Okay. Um, let's see. What do we want to do? I think this is about an hour now, so I'll probably call it quits right here um, and uh, take a break here and um, get something to drink and something to eat, and then I'll come back and maybe talk about some more things and show more doll stuff. Okay. All right. See you guys. Bye-bye.